Welcome to Cujo Sound. This is Unity and Wise Integration. Welcome to Cujo Sound. This is Bjorn Jacobson speaking, and this here is my Wise and Unity Integration video. The approach to these videos will be the same as of my previous Unity videos. They are made for sound designers and not for coders. They're not made for developers of any other form than for sound designers. The point of that being that if you're working on a project or if you just want to get into WISE and Unity, then quite often all tutorials, they show a lot of things that you do not need to know. And therefore, we are just going to be creating a project where we will implement WISE and have it work. I do not care if programmers look at this and point fingers at the code or the script and say, this could be done more efficiently, this could be done differently, this could be done in many thousands of other ways, because I am only interested in making sure that it works. Because if you work on a project where there is no code support, it's really, really important that you, as a sound designer, will be able to implement the sounds yourself and not having to rely on the programmer support, which isn't there. So let's get started. We have a basic Unity project here. I've clicked that I want to make a new one, and we will call this one the WISE Integration Project. I have select some assets. I have selected a basic environment that we can walk around in and a third-person controller. How to do that, you can check in one of my previous videos about how to put those two things together. So let's create this project here. So right off the bat, now we have a scene where we can right click and move around with the WASD keys and we have a character that's in. I have moved the camera so that it is behind him. And if we press play, we should be able to walk around. And as you can hear, there is absolutely no sound here. So the first thing that we got to do is we got to integrate WISE into the project. And that's what this first video is all about. How to make sure that WISE and Unity can communicate at all. So let's get to that. We are going over here in WISE and we are going to be selecting project and new project. We'll start a new one here and we will just call it WISE integration. And deselect everything that because we don't need it. And we click OK. So now we have a project here. In this project, there is absolutely nothing. There is a master audio bus default hierarchy. And over here we have our events and so on. And there is nothing for us in this project, which is really good. So we can just save that and do nothing about it for now. We open up our WISE launcher and in here we click Unity. In the Unity pane here, you can see all your Unity projects and you can see which ones already have Unity and which one don't. This top project here is the one that we made before. It does not have WISE installed into it. So we integrate WISE into the project just by clicking here. Select your WISE project path. We select the one that we made before and you just click integrate and that's it then WISE is integrated into our Unity project, and you will see in a minute when we open it up again. And the integration process starts, and that takes a little while. And so, the operation is complete, and we can now open our project in WISE. If we do that, it will open up over here as it was before. It will just open up in our WISE project here. And once that is done, this project is now integrated into Unity. So we can go over and back into the launcher window. And here we can say open in Unity. So let's open our project and see what's different about it. Here we now have our Unity project. It looks kind of like the same as before, but you will notice that down here there is a window called the Wise Picker. I don't use it that much, but it is there and you can use it for lots of things. You can, for example, find all your events, your switches, your states and sound banks in here. We'll get to that later. What you will notice is that there is this object here, which is new and was, wasn't there before in the WISE project and in the, which wasn't there before in the Unity project. And this is the one called WISE Global. WISE Global simply initializes everything that is going on. Now, What's really important about WISE Global is that we use this to load whatever needs to be loaded whenever the game runs. And in our case, we want it to load a sound bank. A sound bank is something that runs over here in WISE. You press F7 and you see your sound banks over here. 
The sound bank contains all sounds, all information, and everything you need to continue. Therefore, it's really, really important that you have a sound bank, because else it won't work, and that you familiarize yourself with the fact that you need to update and generate these sound banks quite often. So let's create a new sound bank. Here, we'll just call it main. We click new, and we now have a sound bank called main. In your sound bank, you can down here select which events are included in this sound bank. And in our case, we just want everything because we will get to efficiency later. What you do is that you find your events over here, your default work unit. Let's just drag that down here and we save the project. And that means that every time we create an event that goes into our default work unit, everything that is in every work unit below it or anything like that, this will be included in the main sound bank. So back here in Unity, you can, on your Wise Global Object, click Add Component. And we want it to add this one here called AK Bank. AK Bank is a sound bank loader. We can load many things and we can do it very, very efficiently later on. But to begin with, we just want to load one sound bank, which is the one that we just created called Main. So it's automatically set to load on start and it destroys whenever we are unloading the project. And which sound bank do we want? You click here. And as you can see, it, is al it already knows that we have a sound bank called main. And we double click that. And that's how you integrate WISE into Unity very, very quickly. You open the WISE launcher, create a WISE project, create a Unity project. You go back to the WISE launcher and select the project again and say integrate WISE into it. That is as easy as it gets. In the next video, we'll go over how we can start to actually play sounds on some of the objects. We'll start by some very, very simple stuff that can play whenever it's located in the environment and we can walk around to it. And I'll show you a little bit about how that works on both the Y side and on the Unity side. Thank you for watching Kujo Sound. If you want to know more about game audio, Unity, and WISE integrations, please like this video if you enjoyed it, and hit subscribe if you want to know more. Or head over to patreon.com forward slash Kujo Sound, where you for as little as $1 a month can help me sustain this channel and the time I take off to create all this material. I would really appreciate it. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Kujo Sound and Bjorn Jacobson signing out.